Well, I'm out of focus. That's wonderful. Yay. In focus. So this video is brought to you by me. Hi. Hello. I'm Lydia. What up? This is a cool angle. We should film the entire video like this. We really shouldn't. Um, I posted a poll. I'm currently doing a live stream that's been going on for over three hours. Be proud of me. Three hours of a live stream. That's like impressive as fuck. But this video is something that people have wanted me to make for so long. I know Beth has especially wanted me to make this. Here we are. I'm becoming Tana Mojo. It's fine. Disclaimer, I didn't get fucked with a toothbrush. So this video is... <laughs> I used to take a hot drinking a lot. Um, a lot. So this story time takes place in Preston. I haven't even seen what I'm doing. Hi guys, I'm Lydia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Don't know why this, don't think this video is going to make me want to turn the notification bell on, but turn it on because I use the community tab and I go live every single Monday. Next Monday I'm going to be doing a 24 hour live stream. Kill me, please. This video is about the craziest night out that I went on. And I should say this, I used to drink a lot, a lot. I used to go out three times a week. I literally nearly drank myself to death god knows how many times in the space of this year i stopped drinking back in march so how many months is it that april may june july august september october november eight months with no alcohol that's Ooh. <laughs> so i've got a lot of footage from nights out either i was high or i was drunk none was good i would never want I, i'm gonna go drinking again like don't get me wrong i i will happily drink alcohol getting high probably not not really into cocaine anymore my chair's turning around so this story takes place about a year ago don't drink when you're suicidal it's not a good myth believe me i had to drink myself to death and nearly succeeded so the craziest night out i went on would probably be my first night out to be fair uh, my first night out I went and I got banned from a nightclub shop. I mean, why wouldn't I get banned? I think even, the best thing is I don't even know what I did to get banned, so I can't even tell a story. I don't know what I did to get banned from a nightclub, so um, yeah. This story is from this year. Um, one, I was into cocaine. Two, alcohol. Three, collapsed in the middle of a street. And all my friends left me. I had great friends. You know, real, real support. I, man, it was... I, I used to, I loved nights out, like I used to love drinking like pre-drinks, a bottle of vodka, yes please, bottle of rum, yes please, WKD, oh, why not, it's fizzy bar, you know, I'd, I'd drink anything. And it got to a point where I got like, uh, like imagine this is like, yeah like the small bottles of vodka, not the, not the tiny ones, but like the smallish ones, I'd get it and I would literally like put it in my bra and go in. I should point out, I used, to, I, wa I remember walking down a street, just necking this bottle of vodka. This is the best demonstration of drinking vodka ever. I wish I had an actual bottle of vodka. I don't. I do. I don't. I'd just broken up with my current partner and I was getting into a relationship with Michelle. You guys know who Michelle is. I don't want to talk about her or even acknowledge her existence. That was all going on at this time and when I went out I'd had so much stress because of it all that I... I don't even know how much vodka I drank. I, I couldn't tell you. I know I drank a lot. I got into a club, I went and asked people I knew, there were dealers, I'd just walk up and be like, can I have some coke? And they'd give it me. And that was the one night and the only night I'd ever done MDMA and it made my mood work. MDMA, also known as Molly, is a type of drug that ex accelerates your mood. So if you're feeling crap, it's gonna make you feel worse. I was suicidal, I wasn't happy, I, I was in an emotional situation and it wasn't good. I don't even like admit and I did that. I like I made friends with a lot of people that wasn't exactly the best for me. Um was very into drugs. I made friends with his first dealer. And then I made friends with that person's friends who knew other dealers and then I made friends with other people who had their own dealers and eventually my phone just became full of dealer numbers. And if I wanted something I can just vote and be like, hey, can I have something? I can't afford to pay you, can I just have a little bit? And they always said yes. I never had no said to me. And the issue with that is drug dealers don't give a fuck. Why would they? They want the money. Let's get on to the alcohol part. So I had already drank a lot before getting into this club. I'd already collapsed before getting to the club. Like I collapsed outside the security. I was like, you drunk? I was like, no, no, I'm fine. He's like, Lydia, I know you, of course you're drunk. I was like, yeah, I am, whatever. And um, got let in because I need the bouncers. And that was the only good thing about going out in Preston. I knew the bouncers. So I got into the club and I couldn't tell you what I drank. I just know I, I ended up with a lot of people on Facebook I don't know. Like the thing is with me on nights out is I am very good at manipulating myself to get free alcohol and free anything. Like I can pretty much get what, I, if I go on a night out, I can get what I want. 
and it's not a good thing, trust me, it's not. So getting on to the alcohol, I feel like I've been rambling a lot and not really getting to the point. So the alcohol, I drank a lot. I did get thrown out of the nightclub as well at night. And bearing in mind that I know the bouncers, I know the bar staff. I got thrown out and my, I know my friends left with me because I have a photo of us outside the club of them holding me up. I'm not gonna put that in because I'm not an asshole. The next thing that I knew, I was in a and with police officers around me. And when I properly came around, they explained to me what happened. And it was like, you was left in the street on your own. We had someone come up to us saying they thought you was dead. Apparently when the paramedics turned up, they had to put tubes down me and the whole shabam thing, whatever. It was mad. Like, it was intense. It was terrifying. I don't know how I didn't get arrested for the coke. These people that were around me were supposed to be my friends. I just want to ask this, like, who would do that to another person? Like, you go out with people who you know are like... These people knew what I had going on. They knew I was trying to drink myself to death. Yet they went out with me. They was like, oh, we'll keep you lying. We'll make sure you don't do anything we shouldn't do. They left with me and then they left me lying in a fucking street. Like, anything could happen. And when I went out, I didn't used to wear anything. I used to wear fucking, like, little bralette things and skirts and that. Like, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't give a fuck. Like, what are they gonna do, you know? Because at that point, I was like, I don't even care what happens to me. Like, why would I care? I didn't want to be alive. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Someone's gonna kill me? Cool. Thanks. Great. And I remember that day vividly because when I came around the hospital, I got up to leave and a police officer came after me and then 136 me. Because believe it or not, I was a risk to myself. And this was before all the hospital admissions this year. And if things got that bad, then I'm amazed someone didn't step in. It like it took an extra year around to get help but I'm not talking about the NHS system today. So since that night I haven't drank anything. I'm pretty proud to say that to be honest and I am looking forward to my next night out. I'm probably not going to go as wild as I did before like maybe not the cocaine and MDMA. I look back on it and I'm just like what the fuck was I thinking? Like all the people I used to hang out with I've blocked on Facebook like no thank you don't need it in my life. I, my phone's probably turned on now so night out wise just funny I've got photos on here that I don't even know who I gave my phone to take the photos of me. Ha a picture of me my ex and a dealer. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I went to a bull pit nightclub. I got banned from there. My message in this video is for you that if you're gonna drink, think about it. I'm not gonna tell you not to drink, not my place. If you're considering doing cocaine, don't. My overall message for you is to just be careful with whatever you choose to do. I will insert some clips of me absolutely plastered off my face for you to laugh at because why not? <laughs> Long story short, I've been banned from a lot of nightclubs and I have got no intention on repeating that though I am planning on going on some nights out in the future because I'm a lot more stable now and another thing is don't go out clubbing with people that you don't trust because good chances they'll try and fuck you or they'll fuck you over. The issue with a lot of the friends I had is they all wanted to sleep with me and that sounds really self-obsessed but literally I've got messages from them all saying hey I want to fuck you or I'm trying to cheat on their partners to sleep with me. I'm not even that good looking, like why would you want to sleep with me? Like fucking let's be real here. Go out with people you trust if you're gonna go out. Don't do drugs and be responsible with alcohol. I'm not gonna tell you what to drink, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys soon with a new video. Buy my book! I wrote a book. Uh, I'm gonna go and sleep because it's after midnight and I've been streaming for over three hours. So yeah.
peace guys